I'll start off answering any questions you may have. I know one game certainly doesn't define where recruiting is going to go, but the fact that you guys do recruit so much in Georgia, how significant is to play well and get a win? Right. Well, I think, you know, we have to play well and get a win no matter who we're playing. Obviously, Georgia is a big part of our recruiting area, but, uh, you know, that's just a small piece of it. You know, everything in recruiting is based off of relationships and, and all that, and your players selling your program, your coaches. So, you know, I don't think it has that big of an influence. Can you talk about going to the staff for where you would be if they hadn't contributed so well this year? Yeah. Uh, I love everything about Dontavis Sapp. I've said it. He's been one of those individuals from day one is, that has been marked by constant improvement. And he's a leader. He's a voice of this football team. He has a great level of consistency in everything that he does. Not only is he playing well for us defensively, but on special teams as well. I can't, I can't say enough about him. Same thing. You know, he's an individual who, you know, coming in here, we moved from safety to linebacker, and he bought in right away. And I think he's playing his best football right now. He's been slowed by some injuries, and uh, he just keeps gutting it out. And not only is he playing winning football for us at the linebacker position, but he's also playing winning football for us at, in special teams as well. You know, Greg King has set a great example for the team. He's leading, you know, and he's a, again, he's he's playing like a senior should. We we always talk about IRU in our football program, indisputable role understanding. He understands his role, and I think that play that he made Saturday to help us win that football game speaks volumes of how far he's just come. And uh, he's a great illustration. He has his degree. You know, he's worked exceptionally hard. And so I've been, uh, again, I've been really pleased with him. So moves like the game against South Alabama, how does Justin Tim win? What would you do to stop this game? You know, I, it's playing quarterback. You know, I've always said it, praise and blame, it's all the same. It's part of the nature, you know. Uh, you can't worry about that. We have a great, passionate fan base here. And, you know, they want to win. And, and uh you know, playing quarterback at the University of Tennessee comes with a very high standard of expectations and excellence behind it, and he understands that. That's part of being the quarterback here, and you can't worry about that stuff. Any feeling on whether Marlon will be able to go? You know, Marlon did not practice today. Uh, we'll know a little bit more tomorrow as he progresses, and it's going to be day to day. Do you anticipate him being able to go tomorrow? Or do you even have an idea yet? I have no idea. You know, we'll see. He's, Spent all day in the training room. He was out at practice taking the mental repetitions that he'll need. He was on the bike. So it'll be how he progresses throughout the course of the night and then into tomorrow. Yeah, he'll be, he'll be ready to go. There are a number of teams across the conference dealing with some major injuries right, right. now. I'm just wondering, when you're building a program, how much do you look for guys with similar skill sets at certain positions so you don't have to make those same changes? Well, you do. You want you know similar skill sets, but also you want some differences, you know, also to, to add to the overall makeup of your football team. And right now we've been playing football here since August 1st. You know, we've had no bye week, and you're starting to see the accumulative effects, you know, of a long training camp, and then you know being five games into it, and uh, so and then the accumulation, which I spoke about at the press conference yesterday, with the inordinate amount of reps. You know, by some individuals, and we're banged up. But you know what? That's football. That's part of this year, and we have to put everything that we can into this football game. And then we get a bye week after that, and we can work on getting ourselves back for the stretch run. But you know, I think it's a cumulative football is a physical game, both mentally and physically. It's a grind, and that's football. Coach, have you got any guys that are close to alleviating whether it's Don Tavis or some of those guys from a special team standpoint? Yeah, you know, uh, Jalen Reeves Maven continues to step up. You know, he continues to progress and get better and better. You know, so he's one individual uh, that we're starting to rely on a lot on on special teams. But, you know, what you see, who, who you see the players out there are the players that are going to be out there. Well, I think our running backs have really improved their pass protection skills. I think Coach Gillespie has done a tremendous job, you know, of teaching the skills. And now we're going to be challenged again this week with a team that likes to bring a lot of pressure from all different areas internally, 
you know, out on the perimeter. So, you know, we have to be locked in. But I think our, our offensive line has done a great job as well. And I think our quarterbacks have in terms of getting us in the right protections and understanding when they're hot and understanding their quick reads. We call them Q routes and understanding where they're going with the football. How much do you think up front that, uh, how much do you think their chemistry with being together for so long has uh, started you know, three or four years ago? How much does that help? In oh, I think it helps immensely. You know, you talk about five individuals having to work together and, you know, we talk about the communication aspect, but it's one thing to communicate, but uh, you also have to be able to communicate and connect. You know, and that's what I've talked to our football team is there should be a connection there when you communicate and you learn that over time. You learn that with spending time with each other, not only on the practice field, but in the film room, but also outside of football. And we've really challenged our entire team with communicating and connecting. Corey Miller is an individual who is playing at a very high level right now. You know, when I watch him from last year, he's not even the same football player. And he's playing with a lot of confidence. And what I enjoy is you can see the confidence because it it spills over in the way they practice in their practice habits. And the individuals that have really continued to show great improvement, it stems on the practice field. And Corey Miller is one of those individuals who's continuing to improve. Marlon Walls is another individual. You know, his effort has been outstanding, and you can really see that. And the great thing I like about it is is our younger players see that, that when you practice exceptionally hard, it tends to lend itself to playing better on game day. What you talk about? You know, to us, when a defensive lineman generates a holding penalty, that's the equivalent of a sack. And that's when we talk about that 63 effort and strain on every single play. And it takes a while for players to get that. But when you get that and you see the benefits of it, you know, you continue to want to work to get better and better. They have great balance. You know, they have great players. They're very, very well coached. And uh, they know what they're doing. And they do a great job of creating one-on-one -on -one matchups with their skill. And uh, that's a Sunday quarterback. Murray's as good a quarterback as we've seen. And uh, he manages their offense. They're playing with great confidence. You know, you have the great running back stable that they have. You know, they have a veteran physical offensive line and great speed on the perimeter. And they, they, they play to the strengths of their football team. And uh, it's going to be a great challenge, and that's what makes them hard. Is because, you know, the other thing is, is they they manage the downs. You know, they're not in predictable situations. They're always in third and three, third and four, where it's a run or pass situation. Very rarely are they in third and long situations. And I think that's a byproduct of very of a very strong run game, but also a very strong play action game as well. How key will it be to defend the perimeter? You've had a couple of great right. downs there with their speed. Well, we can't give up big plays. You know, it's another game where we have to make Georgia earn everything that they get. And, you you know, you talk about big plays. That's lost leverage football plays. And we know we're going to get challenged deep with some post routes and some double move routes and some vertical routes. And uh, we have to play disciplined football. And, again, it comes down to winning your one-on-one -on -one matchups. When you were going to Cincinnati and, and you hired uh, John Jansen, your coordinator, what, I, I guess you'd probably trust him. What, what did you see and what did you like about him? Right. Well, John's an individual I've known forever since I've been in the coaching profession. And, you know, we were at rival schools growing up at the Division II level when he was at Hillsdale College. I was at Ferris State. And, uh, you know, we grew a, a relationship out of respect. And, uh, you know, we just kind of grew along that. We were on the same staff as Central Michigan, so I got a chance to see him work. And then I spent a lot of time with him when he was at Georgia as well. And uh, so I liked the way he coached the fine details, the fundamentals. But also, you know, John has been an individual who's always been a student of the game. You know, he's always been, uh, you know, learning. And, you know, you kind of have a coaching tree. And whether it's Coach Martinez or him, you know, it stems to Brian Van Gorder, you know, who was also the defensive coordinator at Georgia. So, you know, I've known those individuals forever. progressing again you know and I'll know a little bit more at the end of the week you know I liked a lot of the things that Riyadh did today but again it's just I think the volume of repetitions you know that they're going to need to be game ready immensely you know it takes everyone you know it takes all involved 
you know, and, and you know, you get a great football team coming in here, you know, national television, Smoky Grays, you know, our student body's been outstanding, you know, but we need, again, it's a chance to showcase our football program, our pageantry, which I think we have the best fan base in the country, and we get to showcase that on national television, a lot of recruits in the audience, so we need everyone, and not just for the Georgia game, you know, we need it, you know, as we continue to build this football program, it's a chance for us to prove that Vol Nation is as strong and as united as ever. And we've talked about one Tennessee. You know, it's going to take one Tennessee to win this football game.